everyone my name is mehak welcome back i hope you guys are doing fine and safe and like always i also hope that you guys are reading we are back with another interesting title in fact this title has just released today and i'm very excited to share with you guys that this book was sent to me by harper collins but the reviews are purely mine the book that we finished reading is freckles by cecilia ahern she's the author of ps i love you book and that's how the book look it's a very cute paper bag really colorful I have personally enjoyed Celia Ahern's book, a because it's always set in Ireland and Dublin, and I have a soft spot for stories set there. Uh, second thing, I feel like her stories are really simple and warm, and as a reader, it kind of grows on you eventually, which I really like about the books. Um, coming to the story of the book now, it's about Allegra Bird. She is someone I would say a little lost in her life, and her life has always not been perfect. When she was a child she was abandoned by her mother who really didn't wanted her so she was basically brought up by her father and obviously they are naturally very close to each other she's also someone who has studied in boarding school that's where she got the name freckles because she has freckles on her skin uh, but she's never really minded this name in fact she quite embraced it because her father also has freckles so she feels that it kind of connects both of them now um, allegra is someone she always wanted to join the dada Gada, I would say um, it's actually the police force in Ireland, but sadly her uh, application gets rejected. So presently she's working in Dublin as a parking warden. When she's not working as a parking wa uh, warden, she poses nude in an art class for just some extra bucks. Now um, you know every day she goes on patrolling and you know doing her job, and there is this. one guy with a yellow ferrari who's always breaking the rules and she's always ticketing them you know and one day it so happens that when she's ticketing him the boy uh, who's the owner of the yellow ferrari comes right there and he's uh, quite frustrated and he kind of insults her and at that moment he says this statement that you are the average of five people you spend the most time with I repeat again you are the average of five people you spend the most time with and he basically tells her that you must be a loser and the four other people you spend time with with also would be a loser and this you know statement kind of stays with uh, allegra and she starts thinking about it um just a theory behind this statement it's an aspirational quote it's by jim rons it basically means that uh, the five people you spend the most time with kind of shape you up as an individual uh, they affect your behavior and attitude but the catch is that these five people cannot be the people from your family it has to be outside your family and that's where the problem comes because allegra she doesn't have five people she just have one people who is a bob her father and she's now feeling bad that you know she's left her father and she's come for this bold new life in dublin but she doesn't have five people and in fact she's an outsider in dublin so that's when she decides that she needs to go on this uh, you know embark on this journey where and she needs to fi find five people who are going to you know uh, determine her future and who are going to shape her up so the remaining book is pretty much about allegra going on a journey to find these five uh, you know human connections that are going to uh, you know just alter her behavior and her attitude and in this process she is basically searching for happiness and human connection and friendship in her life that's what uh, pretty much the book is all about but um, towards the end i think it's the end which is so special that's where you know allegra um, realizes that outside of her family there are influential people who are playing uh, who are uh, you know playing a huge role in our life uh now uh, these people might not be we spend the most time with so these people are, may not be the people we see but yet they have uh, a huge role in our life so it's important the key message here is that you should pay attention to the things you have and not what you don't have so basically that's what allegra was doing wrong she was paying attention to the relationships she didn't have in her life uh, rather than paying attention to the relationship she she had in life so which is the i would say the parting lesson that the author gives us as a book it's amazing it's an uplifting read that kind of uh, you know teaches you to cherish the relationships in your life it's about you know uh, the strength of family and finding unexpected friendship you will enjoy the characters there's such distinctive group of people each with a different personality and i mean i uh, enjoyed all the characters you know in the book and um, in fact allegra is a character she's someone who 
constantly keeps undermining undermining herself and but in the uh, in the end she realizes that she's one of the five people for quite a few people in her life which ultimately makes her happy so yeah that's what um, pretty much what the book is all about definitely i would recommend you guys to pick up this warm sweet and uplifting read yeah that's all on this beautiful book i'm going to see you guys next week with another title till then take care bye bye